I am at Elite Helicopter at Goodwood Aerodrome and I have just filmed an episode for the technical difficulties where I flew this helicopter. Now the question is how did I get the audio from this? Well there are two different ways of getting audio from an aircraft. The first one is to plug into their system and record it and the second one is to put a little microphone inside the ear cup of the headset that you're wearing. The reason for this is that the audio systems in an aircraft aren't the same as you'd find in audio equipment for home use or for broadcast use. Um, so it's a little different, the connectors are a little weird, but a microphone in the headset tends to work surprisingly well because you can hear quite well, the microphone's gonna be able to hear quite well, as long as it's not rubbing too much. But I wanted to plug in as well, just so I had a backup. This is a Robinson R44 helicopter, and this uses the Nexus plug, also known as the US NATO plug, which is very similar to the UK NATO, but different enough for it not to be compatible. The way it plugs in is into the top, into the headset port, plug it in there. And on the other end of the cable, I've got a mono jack connector where I've wired up just the headset pins of the connector. So I can plug it into my audio recorder, and record it directly. The audio level is trying to feed some headphones, so it's quite loud. So if you're running into something with line level, you might be all right. But if your recorder is expecting mic level, then you're definitely gonna to need to use a pad to bring down the level. What I did in the headset was put a lav mic inside the ear cup and run the cable down to the bottom of my ear and then tape it to the cable so it doesn't get dislodged. So you can see here, the microphone is inside this ear cup. There is a cable here, which I've taped on to the headset cable, and then it goes off into my recorder. I'll show you now how I made the cable. Once I'd worked out where to order a connector from, the hard bit was working out the pinout. I'd looked it up online and found it, as you can see on the left-hand side there. And then I used a multimeter to trace which solder joint the tip and rings go to. I was only taking audio out of the helicopter, not putting the audio in. So I was just looking for the audio high and audio low labeled pins on the connector. So I took a piece of FST cable, I tinned it, I took off the screen because we're only using two cores and then soldered it on. I was particularly surprised by how sturdy the strain relief was on it. Having finished that, I then moved on to the other end, once again taking off the screen because we're only using two cores of wire. I tinned them, I soldered it onto the end of the connector, which is a Neutrik two-pole quarter inch jack. And the trick here that I always forget, but I remember this time, is to put the connector boot on before you solder it on because you've got a connector at the other end and you can't put it on otherwise. The most important part is at the end and that's to test. I didn't have a helicopter to hand to test, so I used my multimeter to make sure that two and four on the helicopter connector went through to the tip and the ring on the jack. I'm going to link to some resources in the description. If you found this video because you need to record in a helicopter, please don't assume that the, it's gonna have the same connector as the one that I've recorded in. They all differ. And beware, there are several similar looking connectors that are slightly different and incompatible. Hopefully my research was useful to someone trying to do something like this. And yeah, Thank you very much. That's it. Goodbye.